we're going to do another test on this hydraulic pump for the Kernan trucker. And what we're going to do is we're going to test the the pressure relief valve, which is this guy here. You guys might have seen this in a in a past ep episode when we were testing it with a hand pump. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hook this up, and we're going to use our drill motor, and we're going to run a we're going to run a test. So uh, we can hook it there by using this fitting, which is uh, the same as like on these guys here so we got to cap these so that we're not getting just free flow I don't have the proper caps to cap this thing off and I don't know where in town that I could just run and grab the stuff that I need the proper fittings so we're gonna make some caps I'm gonna machine some caps that'll plug this here and that'll direct the oil to this line that will be hooked to the pressure relief valve and you'll have your your bypass right here okay there's other things to consider your operating context for the pump is what you need to consider you have your your flow and your rpm okay i know what those are supposed to be and that's what you really need to check not only is it building to the proper pressure which is going to be the resistance. Are you pumping two and a half gallons per minute at 859 RPM? That is your operating context right there. Okay. You need a flow meter to check that. And I don't have a flow meter. I could probably go and find one or buy one online and hook it all up. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to go that route. We're going to go ahead and check it. We're going to check this. We're going to hook this in and we'll give it a shot and see what we come up with okay so i'm going to use the jig that i made whenever i did her blair's repair for his lathe parts and we're going to make some plugs to go in there Sixteenths, twenty-four is what we're cutting here.
see it seating right there on the on the bevel. It's inside there. So I'm hoping that that will simulate the same thing as the ferrule right here that seals. That's kind of what we're emulating right there. facing the back side off. I just used a tool bit there. Alright, two quick and dirty plugs. Okay, we're doing our second test on the on the hydraulic pump here. And this is going to be a test for the uh, the system pressure. Okay. We did we did one test and showed that the pump is pumping, that it is moving oil. All right, we want to find out is, for one, is our relief valve going to be working correctly? We've already had a lot of questions about that. <clears throat> so we're going to check that. We're going to see if we're building the pressure. All right, so we got our, we got our two caps here. These are the ones I just machined, got in there, got them snugged up. Operating context for this. You got to know what your parameters are. This pump is supposed to pump two and a half gallons per minute at 859 RPM. That's the specs in the book. That's what I'm going off of. Your operating pressure should be set between 200 and, 20, 200 and 225 PSI. And that's, that's adjusted by adjusting the spring with the set screw on the back right here. One of the things that I do not know is my proper RPM that I'm running because I'm using a drill motor uh, what I do know is that it's in I've got it in gear selection number two so mid-range and that's between one one and twelve hundred fifty RPM okay to check the proper flow and see if I'm getting the proper gallons per minute I would need a flow meter installed in this line somewhere I do not have a flow meter and I'm not going to go buy one to hook up on these. Those things are pretty expensive. But we're going to do a test and see if the pump is pumping and it's pumping up to the, uh, it's building up to the pressure over your relief valve right here, okay? So I'm going to give you a quick little test. Uh, slow, You'll, we'll see it kick off. All right, you see it's building up, getting a little oil. You see the motor kick over, torque. Whenever that's, that oil gets up in here and it's got put under a load on that pressure relief valve, it's torquing this motor over. Let's go ahead and spin it up a little bit. Okay. You can see it bouncing there. We're at our operating temperature. Uh, not temperature, pressure. Okay. So that's slower than what it's supposed to be spinning at but we're going to do another test with it uh, running a little bit faster i just can't run it real fast like this because it'll start blowing out of that really hard making a mess everywhere the other thing you notice right here you see we get a little bit of oil coming through these are just two machine plates that are bolted together so it's not it's not completely sealed and you got the pan underneath here because the oil comes through your bearing area okay now and then one other note that I'll that I'll point out is this this setup right here is not completely concentric with that shaft. The shaft's not bent. It's this, it's the chuck, and it's how this is set screwed down on that shaft right there. So what I'm gonna have to do is just kind of cover this up a little bit and I'll use some of my pig mat to uh, cover it up and we'll spin it up faster, alright? Okay, I think you can see that. Got another pan. 
I got my pig mat around it right here. I just don't want to blow oil everywhere because this is going to blow oil. my drill motor smoking okay All right, I think we had a pretty good test there this thing was a freebie that was given to me uh, last year so I've just been using it and it's been working pretty good all right so did you guys see that we know that I believe that our pressure relief valve is working correctly. Let me move this over. I believe that, that this is working correctly. And I believe that the I believe that the pump is pumping. Uh, the, like I said, I don't know what the uh, what the actual flow is, the flow rate, gallons per minute, because I don't have a uh, a flow meter hooked up. But to me, everything is looking good. And I'm, I just don't know yet. I'm gonna, right now I'm calling this good, okay? I know I'm gonna have plenty of other opinions and what I need to do, but I think the system's looking pretty good to me. Uh, I'm still not sure if I need to mess with this poppet because judging by this test, it looks like it's working properly. The oil that's coming out here, this is for your, this is for your lube system. So this is constantly flowing out of here. These copper tubes go up and they oil all of the gears and all of the everything inside that knee. All this oil is constantly pumping. All right, so that's our uh, that's that's going to be our test for today. I wanted to go ahead and and uh, do this and and try to knock at least this part of it out. And hopefully that'll answer a few more questions that's been asked out there. And I really do appreciate everybody's input and uh, suggestions. And I'm just trying to uh, make some headway on this, on this repair so that we can get this mill put back together. <laughs>